Hello all. In this session, we'll discuss about how do we create a requisition and also how do you see a purchase order details based on the requisition which we create. Okay, so let's start with the creation of a requisition. So navigate to the procurement tab, click on purchase requisitions. Now we are in the requisition page, and here if you observe. It has the information by default according to the Oracle Standard 21A navigation. You will have this particular information. Like uh, you will see the recent requisitions here, recent purchases, top categories, as well as the the request forms which are configured in the system. Okay, and the information tips. Now, on the top here, if you observe, we have set of tasks called more task. Okay, and here you have a another link called manage requisition. Using this, way, where you can search the requisition. But now. In our session, we want to create a requisition. So what we have to do is we have to click on more task and click on enter requisition line. Okay, so click on this enter requisition line. Now it shows the information of the requisition line page where you have the line information, delivery information, billing information, as well as the notes and attachment information. Okay, so now in the top level line information. So what we have to do is let us enter the line time. So by default, it has chosen the goods and this can be configured according to your system. And now the next one is item information and the mandatory description. So I'll just say uh, item description. C01 and category I'll just so. Select this one and quantity I'll go with one and UOM I'll go with each. This is all a configuration based on the system which you when I mean based on your particular client requirements you need to configure. Now here comes the very important part. You can mention the CPA or BPA nothing but you can mention the contract purchase agreement or blanket purchase agreement. Okay, if at all if you want to create a requisition based on this agreement, you have to mention the contract agreement or a purchase agreement. Or if you want to create a requisition based on the supplier, you just simply mention the supplier. So now we'll start with providing the supplier information instead of mentioning the agreement information. So I'll just mention the supplier information and automatically it will populate the information based on the supplier configuration, which we have done. And also here, if you scroll down, I just selected the supplier and automatically the charge account information will also get defaulted and the delivery information also get defaulted based on the user configuration, which you have done for the requisition, user requisition preferences. Okay, so now, and this particular amount percentages also will get calculated automatically, but you can configure them accordingly based on your requirement. Okay, so now we just entered only the line level information. Now the next thing is just click and if at all, if you want to create a purchase order based on the requisition, this particular flag has to be selected. If you don't select negotiated flag, the purchase order won't get created. We want to create a purchase order based on the requisition. So I want to, that's the reason I have selected this one. Next thing is click on add to cart. So the set of data which we have provided here will get added to the cart and click on this cart. You have an option to click on review or submit. Just simply click on submit. Now the requisition will get created. And also here, if you observe the requisition 204904 was submitted and this will take some time, a little bit uh, set of seconds to get it approved. You can also click on manage requisitions. Okay, now still it is pending approval. Now, next thing what I'll do is I want to see whether Purchase order got created with this requisition or not. So what I'll do is I'll click on procurement, click on purchase order, and here in the task you select manage orders. Sorry, click on generate orders, and when you click on generate orders, automatically for our requisition which we have provided, we automatically we selected a negotiated flag. Here, if you observe this particular generate order was submitted just now after after once your particular requisition gets approved. Okay, so now. Hopefully it has it would have been approved by that's why you know that what that that particular ESA job was called. Can you see this was approved and automatically this will get called. And now within a few seconds, we will also see the purchase order which will get created. Okay, so just click on refresh and it'll go to here this manager equation page, and you can also just refresh. Okay, it will take some time actually. Just a couple of seconds, I can say. Click on purchase requisition again. So I'll just go here, click on manage requisition. We should be able to see the purchase order. Okay. So we are able to see the purchase order based on the requisition which we created. So this was a requisition number which was automatically generated. This was our item description which we mentioned. And this is our purchase order. So this is how we can 
this is how a purchase order will get created for the requisition okay and you can have let us say now like I, we just mentioned only one line right so we can also mention we can also mention multiple lines for your requisition okay and you can add up set of lines for that and each level and each line you can add up the different cpa or a bpa okay and based on that you can also create a purchase order okay thank you